Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astro Web, and I wanted to share with you these six quick tips on how to uh, prevent credit card fraud or at least reduce it or, or spot it out when it happens. So uh, the six tips re refer to uh, when an order gets placed on your website, on your e-commerce site, what you should actually do before you actually ship it out so you don't uh, lose a... Um, you know your stock or just send out stuff you don't need to and try to kind of prevent fraud so uh, number one what you want to do is when you get an order on your shopping cart you should have the IP of a, the the um, the perch the person who purchased so uh, for example uh, what you want to do is you want to go to some kind of IP locator site just like this uh, IP location .net. it's not ours but it, we've used it and you just want to type in the, the IP address. So if, for example, um, someone ordered from US to US, let's say they're ordering to Chicago, and you see that you look up their IP of who they ordered from, and it's from Russia or from a different country or even from a different place on in the US or not even from the city they actually specified the billing or the shipping, uh, you should raise a flag. You should check it out more. Okay, so one number one, check the IP. Okay, number two, uh, you want to check if the uh, billing and shipping addresses are different, uh, the credit card billing and the actual shipping, that also can raise a flag in many, many times. So obviously there's people who have different credit cards and mailboxes and different addresses, but for the most part, if it's the shipping and billing addresses are the same, there's very low chance for fraud. So you want to kind of note that, okay? Number three. Um, you want to make sure that uh, you want to check especially the shipping countries if there are countries like Venezuela or sometimes Russia or or just uh, countries that are not expected uh, you know not you uh, your site or your business is not used to selling to those countries you should raise a flag okay uh, the next thing is is um, basically searching Google uh, for the address so uh, what happened to us was uh, we got uh, in the past, a lot of orders um, being sent to Miami and uh, what we've basically found after uh, we we kinda lost a few uh, purchases and a few uh, basically a few uh, products is we found that, that there are these people in Venezuela that found some kind of shipping company in Miami in Florida and a, a basically would send stuff with freight credit cards would send to Miami and Miami would forward it to them in Venezuela or different places in, in uh, South America so uh, what I would suggest is just type in the actual uh, shipping address uh, and uh, type it in and, and see if it's kind of like a residential area, if it's a commercial, if it's a shipping area. And, and also, uh, in one case, we actually typed in the address and we typed in scam or spam. And we actually noticed that other people complained about this specific company. So do a Google search, okay? Number five, uh, call customers. Uh, what you want to do is, regardless of, of the spam and, and prevention, uh, it's it's nice to kind of you know say hello to your customers and thank them for the purchase and ask them if they need anything. Uh, and the second thing for for this video is um, when you call and you verify, you get a fee a better feel of who you're talking to and if it's you know more uh, if it's possible that it might be spammy or not or if people don't answer and don't get back to you, that may or may may not be a flag. Okay. Uh, the next one, number six, is multiple orders and multiple quantities. So, uh, if, if, if for the most part, if the average uh, uh, order is one one product per order, and someone orders four or five or twenty products, uh, then you know, as far as quantity of a specific one, then you know that you should check that further before you send it out. And uh, also, if someone a uh, it orders day after day or multiple times in the same day with the same name and everything that is also um, you know kind of tricky so uh, these are kind of the, the most important six tips that we do before we send out every single uh, product and uh, there's some others but these are really the important ones so make sure um, you know you know who, who you're sending out to and what you're sending out to um, of your products and uh, if you discover certain places you might want to uh, maybe uh, you know add some programmatic uh, additions to your add-ons to your site and maybe exclude certain IPs or 
um, you know, have a maximum quantity or, you know, just kind of work with these six things and try to figure out some stuff. So I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and would love to hear if anybody else has any other very important tips in order to prevent credit card fraud. Uh, thank you very much.